already characterized 2013 relative to transactions. We said to ourselves, you need a basis. So let's go back to 2012. And I say we, I actually spent some time with our chief economist, his name is Kim McCarthy. We wrote a paper earlier this year, and we said, how are we going to describe 13? Let's talk about 12. And how can we describe 2012 relative to transactional activity around the globe and, and, to, and to markets around the globe? And, and the best word we can come up with was that 2012 was a year of uncertainty. Yeah. Not a dramatic word, but clearly important to start. So 2012, a year of uncertainty for many different reasons, and I'll come back to some of those. Then we said, okay, that's the basis for looking at 2013. How can we describe 2013 relative to markets, real estate, and transactions? And the best phrase we can come up with was two words that it'll be less uncertain, okay? Again, not, not very creative, but, but what we did agree on is that the difference between uncertain and less uncertain is confidence. It, it, it may be the new definition of confidence, because no one is certain in this market today around the globe. You just can't be, but less uncertain is a good thing. And then we tried to describe why 2013 is less uncertain, than 2012, and, and, and if I, I'm just going to take some very big trends and, and talk about regions, and I'm going to start out at, in the EMEA, which is a, a region that, that is Europe, Middle East, and Africa. You know, that's a region for Cushman and Wakefield and many of us in real estate as we look at that area of the globe. And, and what I tell you, in 2012, we were at the beginning of the year, no matter what conversation I was having, I could have been talking about the New York Yankees, someone was going to say, is the Eurozone going to break? Is Greece going to break the Eurozone, and, and Europe, go to hell. You could not get away from that conversation. It was a good conversation. It was a valid conversation. Uh, if I look at that same concept today, in 2013, as we sit here today, we don't, we're not having that same conversation. I don't think anybody believes the Eurozone, the 17-nation Eurozone, is going to break. You know, the, the people are like, no one knows how it's going to stay together. But no one believes that, whether it's uh, Greece or Cyprus, the euro's going to break this year. The, 